It is Wednesday, October 16th. Today, the For You feed comes to shopping. Why Google is deleting your ad data soon. Amazon delivers a big update for media buyers. And get ready for thousands of low effort comments, social media managers. You can thank AI for it. I'm Todd Maffin. That's ahead today in digital marketing. Google shopping recommendations are about to get real personal. The platform is rolling out a new personalized feed driven by user search history and YouTube engagement, similar to the algorithm driven feeds of TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. The new feed shows up when consumers visit shopping.google.com or click on the shopping tab in Google search. The top of the homepage will feature a carousel of products that users have recently interacted with. Further down, Google will surface product recommendations and inline videos it thinks consumers might be interested in. Shoppers can then fine tune their experience by giving a thumbs down to filter out unwanted items. The company is also launching a personalized deals tab showcasing offers based on users' interests. In addition to those changes from the shopping platform, search results are also getting a revamp. A new top recommendations section that includes insights on why each product stands out. For example, a search for tea kettle for matcha displays three suggested tea kettles and highlights features like precise temperature control and fast boiling and keep warm function. This Google Shopping update will be rolling out to U.S. users on both mobile and desktop in the coming weeks. Well, as Google refines its shopping experience, Amazon Ads announced several new updates for advertisers yesterday. First, it has revamped its user interface across its demand-side platform by consolidating desktop, mobile, and app display inventory into a single line item. Other new features include frequency cap controls, and there's a new campaign management hub expected for release next year. Amazon is also launching an ads data manager letting advertisers integrate first-party data from providers like Salesforce, which will let you deploy, measure, and optimize campaigns across both Amazon DSP and its Amazon Marketing Cloud product. The company also introduced a new creative studio with tools for advertisers, including an audio generator creating 30-second audio ads. This tool is currently in beta for U.S. advertisers through Amazon DSP and will be part of Amazon's creative studio. The studio also brings together Amazon's image and video tools, letting advertisers create ads from a product photo, web page, or other assets. These ads can then be used across Amazon's various platforms, including Prime Video and Twitch. The studio is available in beta for some U.S. advertisers today. Finally, ads on Prime Video is now expanding to new markets, including Brazil, India, and New Zealand. LinkedIn is also hoping to tap into your ad budget, the professional network announcing several new ad options this week. The platform updating its live event ads with several new features, including a new option for businesses to promote their member posts related to their hosted live events. You do this through thought leader ads. These link directly to the event, letting brands showcase user-generated content. Brands will also be able to share a sneak peek of their broadcasts, displaying a 30-second video to targeted users in their feeds during or after the event. And LinkedIn is also introducing more targeting options during the event setup process. In terms of video, the platform is expanding its wire program to European brands, which lets businesses run in-stream video ads alongside trusted publisher content. Previously, this program was only available to a handful of U.S. partners. Finally, LinkedIn is also updating its Accelerate automated campaign creation tool. Soon you'll be able to include video or document ads like ebooks, white papers, or customer testimonials alongside single image ads when setting up campaigns with Accelerate. The program is also rolling out new campaign objectives for Accelerate, including brand awareness, engagement, website conversions, and video views. LinkedIn says these new features will be rolled out gradually in the coming months. You have just 27 days to salvage any old data from Google Ads before it disappears into the digital abyss. Google recently updated its data retention policy to indicate it will only store data 11 years old or newer. The new policy affects all account data, including performance metrics, billing information, and historical records. 
This means that when you query the Google Ads API using Google Ads Search or Google Ads Search Stream, you'll only be able to access data from the past 11 years. Anything beyond that time frame will have been wiped from Google servers. Google recommends if you need historical data older than 11 years, you should retrieve and store it now before the cutoff date. YouTube is starting to pull back the veil on how your brand's content is made. In response to the growing demand for transparency in the era of generative AI content, YouTube is rolling out a new captured with a camera label. We will tell users whether uploaded videos came from a real camera with unedited footage and sound. Some companies started implementing content credentials in hardware last year, though it's not clear if these credentials will activate YouTube's new labels. YouTube relies on the C2PA standard to detect video authenticity, which means this feature will only work with recording devices and tools that support the necessary metadata. Creators also have to use tools with the C2PA version 2.1 or higher for the label to show up, so I wouldn't expect to see this label popping up regularly on content anytime soon. And finally, it is time for another episode of Nobody Asks For This. So in case you're tired of the endless cycle of responding to comments on your brand's YouTube videos, the platform just announced that it will start letting people reply using AI-generated text suggestions. These replies try to match that person's tone and style as the platform learns from their past interactions to give them ideas on how they should respond to video comments. So far, creators in the test group seem, well, less than thrilled, with one user saying, quote, I really don't like that YouTube is trying to suggest these super specific replies for me like it thinks it knows what's in my head. This AI sucks. Unquote. I'm back. My thanks to Steph for filling in. It is a busy agency day, so I will bid you adieu and see you tomorrow. A new kind of mobile phone has just been introduced in Canada. It's called the cellular phone, and it's being heralded as a revolution in technology. Cellular telephones are the newest technology to use radio waves for communication. The cellular telephone isn't really designed for long-winded conversations. You are paying by the minute. In the states where the average business person talks about 125 minutes a month, they've even come to the point where some answer the phone by saying, I'm talking to you on a cellular phone, which basically means stick to the facts, man.